uh, growing up, I wanted, I mean, like almost every boy, I wanted to be a pro athlete somehow. In March of 2005, I was playing basketball for my high school team, and there was a bump in my leg that was starting to cause a lot of pain. It was uh, osteosarcoma, which is a form of bone cancer, and I wasn't able to play basketball anymore. Um, my high school sports career was over. How am I supposed to get on this team? He is real good. Got it. Sure. <laughs> You got it, oh. oh! Wheelchair basketball is, again, you know, really similar to able body basketball to where there's going to be some people that are really physical. You look at a guy like Shaq playing down low, that's some pretty physical play going on down there. And Nate's like that as well, you know, he's not afraid of some contact and getting physical down low. And we got some guards that don't like the contact quite as much. But you'll see definitely a lot of banging, and uh, Nate's chair is heavy duty because he, uh, he puts it through the rigors. Coming to Whitewater helped me a lot because obviously they had the wheelchair basketball team which opened so many doors for me so far. The amount of progress that Nate has made is unbelievable. He started out five years ago being new to the game and then his final year he was player of the year. He's had some all-tournament team selections. He was on the academic All-American team which I think is one of the greatest honors that you can get. It just goes to show that not only is he taking care of stuff on the court, but also in the classroom. In my five years here alone, we won three national championships in 07, 09, and this past year in 2011. This past year we went 22-1 and one, uh, through the season and just had a great year, a great team. It's a lot of fun. We have a guy on our team who's missing, a, missing his toes. He was actually run over by a truck when he was younger. He doesn't have a limp. You would never know even he has a disability. And then we have people that use a wheelchair every day. You know, like Nate Hines who had cancer and he has a titanium shin. So he's got a limp, but he doesn't use a wheelchair every day. He's just limited in the amount of things that he can do in terms of able body sports. The guys here, they're great. I mean, they're, they're practically like brothers. We come in and we work out every day. We hang out every day. When you come to practice at 6 in the morning, it's not even work, it's you're hanging out with your friends and you're getting better at basketball and that's really all it is, it's not, it doesn't feel too bad. It makes waking up at 6 in the morning a lot easier when you win a championship. Guys, you gotta play some defense. Sean, get in there. Go off, Reno. Sean, get back there. There, now go the other way. Come on, Oz. Cannot run, I can't hop. I can't jump, I can't skip, so a lot of the tools that I would need as a physical on, education teacher I can't do, but that just is one way that I need to verbalize more and teach more. In the world of wheelchair athletics, in the world of wheelchair basketball, we hear the term inspirational thrown around quite a bit. Everyone's got their adversity, everyone's got some disability they had to overcome, and everyone has their story, but I think Nate is really unique in that he's overcome his disability and been successful in such a short amount of time. You talk about that five years since he's been playing the sport and now he's on the U.S. national team. It really says something about his character and, you know, I think character is built in the way that you overcome adversity and that says a lot about Nate where he is today.